Hi, welcome to Life Through Laika. This channel is about my journey from, um, actually started with Canon, Fujifilm, and then finally to Leica. Of course, getting to Leica was a long time dream, uh, like, like many people out there. Um, I'd been, uh, actually I started with uh, the Canon Rebel uh, back in 2000 film camera, had a couple of lenses. This was in Singapore. I was working in Singapore at that time and got um, the Rebel, which was, a, which was a great camera actually, a film. Um, and took many, many pictures, enjoyed it. I had a, a couple of lenses with that. Then, of course, graduated to the digital Canon and, um, you know, finally to Canon 7D, which, in my opinion, was a great camera, um, especially for video, uh, and also, of course, photos. And I built up quite a collection of lenses. Then, um, in 2015, uh, or was it 2016? I think 2016, no, actually, 2017, um, I decided to move to mirrorless camera and a mirrorless camera at that time I had different options. And of course, Leica, I wanted to move to Leica, but, uh, you know, Leica is, was, uh, unaffordable at that time. Um, so I uh, sort of, uh, moved to Fujifilm because I loved the Fujifilm color, uh, rendering, which I felt was closer to the Leica look than other cameras, than Sony, for example. Um, so I moved to Fujifilm X-T3 with the 16 to 55 uh, lens, which is a beautiful lens. In fact, that's what I'm recording this video through. Uh, beautiful colors, beautiful rendering. Um, and it's great for video, actually, at least in my opinion. Um, and I then bought a whole bunch of lenses. So I bought the kit lens, 18 to 55, uh, for its optical kind of image uh, stabilization, which I needed for the video, I thought. Then I bought the 56 1.2 portrait lens, beautiful, beautiful lens. Uh, then I got the 24, uh, like a F2, uh, which is just a, you know, uh, just, just for casual street photography. So I thought, and then I bought the telephoto lens 55 to 200. Um, and then a few other, you know, bits and pieces, spent a lot of money buying all these lenses. And um, then the pandemic happened and, you know, travel didn't happen. I didn't go. Uh, 2020 was, uh, you know, non-starter. 2021, not bad. Went to Portugal, a long trip to Portugal, but did not really take pictures because I was into videos and I was vlogging. And I took a few pictures, a few photos, nothing much. Doesn't photography did not excite me. I mean, since 2000, even before that, I was always into photography and I, you know, took hundreds of thousands of pictures. And um, was I any good? I don't know. You know, I, I I just enjoyed photography. But then I lost that enjoyment. I lost that motivation. I lost that um, uh, motivation. And um, you know, I I sort of lost that passion, so to speak. Um, and I wasn't really taking many pictures and I, the obligatory, yeah, you know, when you travel, you need to take some pictures. So I took those. Uh, my wife had always been my muse. And uh, so I, yeah, a few photos of my wife and that's about it, right? So I didn't really enjoy photography anymore. 2021, things are starting to open up and I have a few different trips planned. Uh, Europe, uh, we're going to do a road trip to Italy, uh, driving thousands of miles. And then uh, we have one scheduled for Bali um, and, you know, one to India and so on. So I thought I need to look back at my photographic journey and then see what does photography mean to me? And then that's when I realized, you know what? I've lost the passion and I keep looking at Leica. I keep watching Leica videos. And even during the pandemic last year, when I was not doing any photography, I was, you know, looking at Leica. And so finally, I made the jump. So I decided to sell all the lenses, Fuji lenses that I was not using. They were just sitting around. I sold them all and then went and bought my first Leica, which is the Q2. So the Q2, ah, if it can focus, I guess. So, well, actually, to be honest, this is not my first Leica. Um, so I, I tested, um, you know, I, I, I used and I tested the M10 
uh, a few times in Leica stores and also in some workshops. Then I went ahead and bought an M8 last year actually on eBay. I found a good deal on eBay, got it. And then of course I did not want to buy a Leica lens. I got a seven artisans, 50 millimeters, um, M mount lens. And, uh, I thought, okay, my Leica journey begins, but the very next day, the second day, uh, that Leica M8 had a shutter error pop up. So it was, it was a lemon. So I sent it back and then I decided, okay, you know what? Leave it. You know, Leica is not for me. I cannot afford brand new, so on. But this is brand new, the Leica Q2, my first Leica. And so I wanted to document my journey. So I have an Instagram account um, called Life Through Leica, where I'll be posting all the pictures that I take with this Q2. But I also wanted to, to have a, a, a YouTube channel um, because I want to document my journey, not just with the Leica Q2, um, but the Leica philosophy. And eventually the plan is I'm going to move to the Leica M11 by next year, right? A year, year and a half. So about the same time next year, hopefully. Um, so I want to start with the Q2, which I think rather than a rangefinder, um, this Q2 is, 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 is a more friendlier kind of camera. And, um, I want to document that. I want to talk about like, uh, I want to talk about photography. Um, although I, I'm not an expert, I consider myself to be an amateur, uh, but I'm passionate about photography. So I want to, I want to, I want to uh, document and I want to share the philosophy of photography, the philosophy of Leica, uh, and, um, you know, switching from Fujifilm and so on and so forth. And then ultimately get to the Leica M11. M11 just launched, uh, I think, um, this month. Yeah. Um, and, um, this is, uh, uh, March, 2022, uh, and, uh, I want to document the journey. So come along on this journey, subscribe to this channel. I'll be, I'll try and post a video a week, especially when I travel, I'll be posting more videos. It will be discussing how the Leica Q2 is doing. I will be analyzing photos. Uh, I'll be also, um, take a look at this. This is my life through Leica um, Instagram account. And, um, I actually started, this is my first photo of my wife. Uh, literally the first photo. In fact, I opened the Leica, I took it out of the box and then, um, I wanted to take the first photo of my wife. Um, and then I went around into the garden. I was doing a bit of black and white. I've just put it into monochrome, no tweaking, nothing. This is Dexter, my pug, and you'll be seeing a lot more of him, uh, through these photos. He's 80 years old. Um, more mon monochrome initially. Actually, you know what? So the interesting thing is I actually bought, I, I bought the Leica Q2 monochrome. I mean, I paid for it. My card was charged. Um, and then it was, it was in the middle of the night. I, it was not impulse, but I was looking and looking and watching and learning. And so I bought it. And then the morning I got up, I was in a panic mode. And, um, I was like, Oh my God, I cannot box myself into monochrome, right? Because I don't know yet if I'm a monochrome, um, uh, photographer and to take color out of the equation, that was just scary, right? So I sent an email immediately canceling the order. And then I called them up when the, when the store opened, I said, stop, you know, canceled. And then later in the day, I, I thought through and then I placed the Q2 order. Um, anyway, this, is a photo, again, monochrome photo of my Tesla Model Y. I just got it this year, 2022. So 2022 is, uh, I got my dream car, which is the Tesla Model Y. And then I got my dream camera, which is the Leica Q2. Um, so yeah, this is, that's why it's a great time to launch my channel. Um, okay. So color. So I started introducing color and I said, you know what? I need to shoot in color, uh, as well as monochrome. So I don't know if I'm just going to go with M11 monochrome when it comes out. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to see. Uh, this is a, this is an awesome picture. I, I was debating whether I should post this in monochrome or in color, but I felt the color, I think gives it a more life. Um, especially this, this orange hues on the top that you see. And this is the Leica colors. I mean, this is the Leica look. These, this is straight out of the camera. I didn't do any color correction, nothing. And you can see the, this is true to life. And this was in a very dark room, actually. 
Um, the only light was this lamp you see on the top right, just one lamp. And, um, and of course, there was a window onto the side, a small window, a really small window, because this was, uh, this is a castle that, um, I went to, uh, a very old castle. And, um, yeah, look at the colors. Beautiful, right? So, and then again, yeah, this is a, the same castle from a different viewpoint. Again, monochrome here, because this one I felt would look great in monochrome. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture, if I if I may say so, uh, of um, a lake near our house, and um, this I felt would look great in monochrome. So I found this 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 goose. Actually, I wanted to. Actually, it's a duck. I think. Yeah, I wanted to take a picture of the of this duck when I started to frame. There was only this duck, and then this one started trying to you know fly from the lake onto this perch, and I think this was a great moment, the decisive moment. Um, of, of one of my uh, favorite photographers, Henri Cartier Brasson. Um, so I think this was a, a great decisive moment. And this one again from the castle, this was high up. Um, this was actually a bigger picture. I had to crop it a little bit. I just wanted to, but I think it, 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 it it's, it's a nice looking photo. This is a vintage 1920 Dom Perignon. Um, Okay, from this photo onwards, you're going to see that I'm now framing photos with a white border. I think that's what I want to do. I want to go for a square uh, format with a frame around it. Uh, beautiful grandfather clock here. This is a 150-year-old clock. This is a, a vintage toilet or bathroom in that castle. A vintage uh, lamp holder retrofitted with a bulb. And uh, this one, yeah, Dexter trying to soak up the sun rays. That's, that's, that's the latest one. So yeah, follow on IG, follow and subscribe to this Instagram channel, uh, to this YouTube channel. And hopefully, you know, I will sort of, um, give you my opinion on the Q2 and how to switch to Leica, uh, what to do, what not to do and so on and so forth. All right. So let me know. Are you a Leica shooter? If you are, leave some comments below. Are you aspiring? to get into Leica uh, in, 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 you know, coming videos, videos, I'm going to talk about what it means uh, to, to move to Leica and why, why, what does Leica mean, right? Um, I have, um, I'm a, a professional uh, brand strategy expert um, and no, literally. And uh, so I, I look at Leica from both a, a brand perspective and what an awesome brand they built and why, right? So I have another channel uh, where I talk about branding. And on this channel, I'm going to talk about only Leica and how that brand really is an aspirational brand. All right. Uh, enough of this video. It's almost running to 15 minutes. Um, I'll see you in the next video.